Well, hello everyone. Uh, this is a very difficult video to record, to be perfectly honest, for reasons that will become clear as the video progresses. Um, and this is to do with the horrific mess that has transpired to do with uh, Jameson Stone and Satine Phoenix, which is a topic that is, is something that touches me at one level, because I have known Satine for a while, and um, as many other people, I put an awful lot of hopes and expectations on her shoulders that have been thoroughly squashed and smashed over the last few days due to the revelations that some very, very brave people have come out to talk about on Twitter and other social media. Um, if you think that this is going to be another, you know, story of how horrible Jameson and Satine have been to me, and I'm afraid I don't have one. I really don't. Uh, and that makes recording this video even harder um, because the setting I met in 2019, if she was the way that she has been with other people at the time, she definitely was not like that with me. So it is a very hard pill to swallow for me to see that somebody that I have admired and loved for so long being this kind of person who enables, at the very least, this kind of behavior, if not fully participate. So, for the record, for those of you who have come out to, to talk about this, to share your experience, I believe you, even if my experience with sitting has been completely different, but I completely believe you, and this is why I'm doing this video. Um, this is going to become more a message to Jameson and Satin than anything else. But I believe you. I believe your stories and I believe what you're saying unconditionally. No ifs, no buts. That is it. Even if my experience does not reflect yours, I believe you. Period. That's it. And I could have put doubts if it'd been one person, if it'd been just one, but it's too many. Way too many. I cannot ignore that. And because I know something, I have to do this video because it's the right thing to do. So, um, firstly, my experience with Satin is when, thanks to a friend in the US, I got to organize a trip to Barcelona in the summer of 2019. Uh, both Satin and TJ Storm came to Barcelona. I managed to find a place in Higamesh, which is an absolutely wonderful bookstore and general geeky geek store in Barcelona, where we could uh, do a game, uh, advertise it all over the place. The, uh, the, the bookstore got filled up. They had a 35 people capacity. They got filled up to 73. After that, they got started with doing some more events on D&D and Call of Cthulhu and all the role-playing games. It was very, very successful. And both DJ and Satin turned up to be absolutely wonderful. They were kind. They were very generous, very open, very vulnerable, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people. Um, and the things that I saw about Satin, they were a bit I attribute it more to being very focused, very professional, and being under a very fair amount of pressure because she was being sponsored by Black Magic. We had to do some shooties and some footage. And also she came at a moment of my life where I had given up on publishing in Spain because of online bullying. I didn't know what I wanted to do. And she did help quite a lot. So for me to see this kind of behavior is very hard really, really hard. And I have to say that um, I, I have very fond memory of that weekend, and especially of TJ, is just absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Um, I've kept my relationship with Satine. We've spoken a couple of times. She told me about her marriage before it happened. And I was even considering reliving that weekend by reorganizing a tour, not just of Barcelona, but doing some things around Spain that the pandemic completely blew off. Um, so that's my experience. I 
don't have a bad one to share. But again, I believe you. And this is not by any means I want to be seen as somebody who is giving her a pass. During that weekend, you know, I, I spoke with Satine about many, many things. We spoke about trolls and how I told her that trolls need to be dealt with and not just left alone because trolls feed on silence. And she was, no, you know, leave them alone, just ignore them, don't engage. We spoke about, you know, her relationship with uh, James Desborough and how I said to her, you know, this is going to bring you some problems. You have to cut ties. I don't want to be... Uh, forced into it. I got it. I said to her and you need to do it in your own time But you have to make sure and at the time I thought you know If you have the ability to still be able to love these persons to be that friend You're a better person than me because I don't have time for these kind of bigots That's that's how I took it and she knew the risks and she knew what was going on at the time We spoke about it, but still She wanted to be there for her friend. I valued that you make of it whatever you find you want. I'm not going to judge you. You're entitled to, to think whatever you want. But I value that because I believe in redemption. I believe in second chances. And I believe that people can change. And the persons that we are today are not the same people that we were five, ten years ago. And we are not the same people that we're going to be in five or ten years' time. I thoroughly believe that. And I believe that the team of today is not the same team that I met a couple of years ago. Or if it was, I just didn't see it. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> I just didn't see it. So I want this to become a message for, for them. Uh, firstly, to, to Jameson, dude, seriously, don't find excuses in your... PTSD or whatever it is that you happen to have that you mentioned in Facebook. Dude, no, you have behaved like an absolute fucking narcissistic wanker. And you're going to have to do way better, way better than what you have done thus far. Way better. You're welcome to do it. You're welcome not to do it. Quite frankly, about you, I give way less of a shit. Quite frankly. And I really hope that you can find the strength that you are going to need to actually change the kind of person that you are today, that you have been for this very, very long time, and become the person that uh, people deserve. I don't have an awful lot of hopes for you. I'm going to be very, very honest. And I'm only going to give you the benefit of the doubt, because that's the kind of person I am. I don't have an awful lot of hopes for you. Uh, of course, if you want to talk, by all means. We don't know each other very well. We just connected in Facebook a few times, and that's been the end of it. By all means, I would be happy to be here uh, because I want you to know that I feel that you could change if you want to. Dude, you're going to have to try way, way, way harder. Way harder. Now, I don't really have a lot else to tell you. You've been an incredible disappointment. Incredible. And you have no idea how much you've hurt this community and the RPG industry because the level of distrust has gone up and up and up because of your behavior. Now, how the hell are you going to do reparations for that? I have no idea. I really have no idea. But you better get started because if one thing we can be sure of social networks and social media these days is that going up is a very, very difficult thing. Like coming down and becoming no one. Yeah. That is quite easy, and that's where you're heading. Up to you, mate. But about Satine, what happened? What happened? How did you allow this to happen? I'm sorry. You know, I've loved you very much for a long time. What happened to you? Where did the herald of compassion go? When did this immaculately crafted product become so detached from the humanity that you were professing to promote that you allowed this kind of behavior? What happened to you? And I'm sorry, 
But it's not good enough with I didn't know. It's just no longer good enough. And if you didn't know, assuming that I was ready to give you the benefit of the doubt on that, if you didn't know, you know now, what are you going to do? Because I'm sure it's not going to be easy. It really is not going to be easy for you. You have disappointed so many people. So many people. Because you have been such a shining beacon for so many. So many. And you fucked up. You have fucked up. Because you did not have the strength to fight and live up to the expectations that you have set up for yourself in front of everybody else. Being a herald of compassion, being the person that you have created yourself to be, that you have fought so hard to become, it comes with some responsibilities. And seeing abuse, belittling people, seeing how that is happening, seeing how people are not being paid on time, seeing how contracts, and you know about contracts, team, for goodness sake, that are unfair to people who need that work, that money way more than you, who people who wanted to work with you because of who you were, and you have let that happen? We cannot give you a pass on that. We cannot give you a pass on that. Sorry. That's, that's just the way it has to be. Now, what happens next thing is down to you. There is still a lot of people who love you very much, who believe that you could become the person that you have professed to be all this time. But you have a long way ahead of you if you really, really want that to happen. And by the way, you don't have to if you don't want to. You can stay the way you are, you can keep working with the same kind of people and you can keep working the same kind of way. You can keep being a disappointment for so many people unnecessarily. But there are some of you who are willing to believe that you could change, that you could let go of all the toxicity and become that herald of compassion that we know you could be if you wanted, that I saw when I met you. And you know, I worry, I, I worry that you are entrenched at the moment in such a turmoil, in such a difficult position, away from LA, away from so many of your friends, that you will find it very hard to get away from that. I worry about that. And I know that this is not a vision that many people are going to be sharing, and that's fine. People are entitled to be angry with you. People are perfectly entitled to direct at you and Jameson everything they're directing. And you're going to have to put up with it. That is it. But I worry. Because I suspect what is going on behind the scene. I've been a therapist for way too long not to have a very good inkling as to what is going on. So I'm going to tell you a few things. You're welcome. If you watch this video, I don't know if you will. It's up to you. Bridge for safety. And I know that Jameson mentioned how you two are going to uh, relationship therapy. Safety before therapy. Always. Always. Bridge for safety. Find your safety net. Whatever it is you need. Find your safety net. Because without that safety net, you're never going to get the strength to change and make reparations. And yes, you have to make reparations. I'm sorry, both you and Jameson, especially you, have to make an awful lot of reparations. And I say especially you, because if Jameson disappeared, you could continue being you. If you disappeared, Jameson would become no one. No one. Trust me. No one. So, it's not going to be easy. You have to make reparations for the people that you've hurt. And I don't mean just an apology. I mean promoting them. I mean empowering them. I mean really making up for all the damage that you have done 
throughout this time to everyone. Business that you took away from them, money that didn't come on time, money that wasn't there as it should have been. You have to do that. And then you have to make reparations for those of us who've been disappointed. And there are tens of thousands of us who've been very, very disappointed. And you have to do that. And again, it is entirely up to you if you don't want to do it. That is absolutely fine. I can only offer you my support. I can only offer you my help. Because even though what you've been doing is monstrous, I don't believe that you are a monster. Not yet. I'm not one for giving up on people that easily. I will give up if things don't change within a period of time that is sensible. And if I don't see what we all should see, which is you, you with transparency, coming out, talking to the people that you've hurt, and making up, talk to them, a genuine apology and reparations. Apologies without actions mean Nothing. Nothing. So, I've spoken to some people. Some people, most people don't believe that you have what it takes to do what you have to do. I hope you do. Because this industry needed, this role-playing game industry needed somebody like you. We needed it. And now, we don't have you. And now everybody's going to be thinking, wow, so if I get close to this other person, are they going to be the same? Am I going to be treated in the same manner? Is there going to be a dragon complex in here where people think that they're above everywhere and everyone and they're better than and they can do whatever? What's going to happen? It's up to you. My door is open. You know, um, one of the reasons to do this video is because I want it to be public and I want it to be open and I want it to be transparent about it. But what you've done? Nah. No way. So, make things right. Up to you. But like this? Nah. Sorry. <laughs>